Hello and welcome to Simply Awesome Photoshop Elements Tutorials. My name is Chucky and you might have heard a lot about luminosity lately in the Photoshop world. Now Photoshop the full version has some channels that you can change and luminosity allows you to target specific ranges of colors and brighten and darken those without changing the saturation. Now we can do this in Photoshop Elements but you have to use an adjustment layer. Now I'm going to show you what I've done right here, but first I want to give a big thank you to my viewers in Prague, Czech Republic, the Londinska Primary School in Prague. They're some of my viewers on the YouTube channel, and I just want to thank you for continuing to support me with my Photoshop Elements tutorials. So let's get started. If you can see this dark sky that we have right here, I am going to turn off this adjustment layer and show you the original sky. It is a rather natural, nice sky, but we want to give it a little bit more of that infrared look. And when I turn the visibility layer off here, you can see that it darkens the sky just a little bit. Now let's show you how I did that. I'm going to trash this layer and show you my original photo. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to the top of our layers palette. If we don't have our layers palette visible, you can go to the bottom here. There's a bunch of icons at the bottom and layers is the first icon right here. Then we want to go to the top where there's a black and white cookie tool as I call it with the down arrow and we want to select the hue and saturation. Now once we do that we are going to change the blending mode right here to luminosity. So click on that one. Now you don't see any kind of changes right now and that's because we haven't changed any of the channels. Right now we're on the master channel. This affects all the colors of the spectrum but I'm going to select my blues and then I'm going to take my lightness down and drag this down just a little bit. And as you can see, none of the rest of the picture is changing, just the blue skies. Now if I wanted to change some of the cyan colors, I could actually pop that up a little bit to make it blend a little bit better. When I'm done with that, I can tick the X right here, and now we have a darker blue sky. Let me turn the visibility of this layer off and as you can see there's the original photo and then there is our targeted darker blue. Now this didn't actually change any of the saturation, it just changed the lightness and darkness of this photo. I'm going to jump over to another photo that I took while I was in Corsica, France and as you can see it's a little bit dark right here, the water, and we want to target some of the blues and greens right here and make those pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to choose my black and white cookie tool. I'm going to use my hue and saturation and then I'm going to change my blending mode down here to luminosity. Once again you don't see any differences on the actual photo itself, but if we go from the master channel down to the blue channel right here, we can pop the blues just a little bit and as you can see some of it's getting lighter but the problem is is that we also have the sky turning a little bit too light and I don't really want that. I'm going to also change the greens that we have right here. I'm going to pop the greens just a little bit more in lightness. You can see some of the greens right here are changing. Last but not least I want to change some of the master. I'm going to just bring this lightness up just a tad. And then since this is on an adjustment layer right here we can hold the Alt or Option key down and click on that and that will provide us with the actual mask itself. We want to mask out some of the blue sky that I changed right there. I want to make sure that there's black and white in the foreground and background. As a default, it will be white and black. If you want to switch those around, you can hit X and it will put black in the foreground. We want to select our gradient tool right here. You can press G as you can see on the keyboard. Not a control or command G, but just a G and that will bring us to the gradient. Start at the top and drag to the bottom. If you hold the shift key it will make a straight line all the way down to the bottom there and it will put a nice gradient from black to white. 
Now in order to get this back to our original photo right here, we click on our background right here, and as you can see, it's not really affecting the skies, but it did bring out some of the shadows right here in our ocean next to the rocks. Let me turn the visibility layer off here, and as you can see, it's just slightly darker, and then we're bringing some of these shadows where the rocks are and making them just a little bit lighter. So we're targeting these areas. Just to show you this works just a little bit better than subtly, I can change these and make them a little bit brighter or a little bit darker by changing the yellow. I'm going to double click right here on this icon right here, which brings our hue and saturation sliders back. I'm going to go to yellows right there and then I am going to take the lightness of my yellows and bring that up. And as you can see, the leaves on the little trees on the side, they're getting darker and lighter, but it isn't affecting any of the other parts of the picture, just those targeted areas right there. So there we have it, using the luminosity blending mode along with the hue and saturation slider right here, to target different areas of your photo. Maybe you want a sky that's darker, or maybe you want something green or something in the water a little bit brighter. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Check me out on Facebook, simplyawesomephotography.com. Thanks and cheers.